Today we're going to look at dismounting and mounting this 10 inch custom billet aluminum wheel that is for a custom golf cart. First off I'm going to start by using our spray loop for the dismount. Go ahead like other, our other dismounts sticking the demount tip in, hooking under the bead, relieving the opposite side This particular tire fits very tight to the wheel, so it's going to be important that I cup and hold the tire so it doesn't spin on the wheel. Like the other dismounts, I always bring the tire up to the tool pull back to create space, turn and lock on the lobe, and once again holding the tire to prevent it from spinning and pull the bar towards me. Okay, now that I've got this tire dismounted, I'm going to go ahead and wipe off all the excess lube that I have, the spray lube that I used to dismount the tire, as well as any lube that may have seeped into the drop center. Just like the rest of our tire installs, I'm going to go ahead and lube the drop center. And on the other installs that we've shown, we've been able to push this tire on by lubing the outer edge. So this particular tire fits very, very tight. So we're going to use a set of traditional spoon bars. And I'm actually going to spoon the inside edge on. getting the tire to go one way, collapsed, and then I will lean on my body on the other half. I'm going to do the same thing on the top half. I'm going to use the assistance of our yellow thing, our PVC coated bead keeper. It's going to hold the bead over here for me while I use the same spoons to spoon the rest of the tire on. Now at this point, it's crucial that my tire is in the drop center. There you go. This is a custom billet aluminum golf cart wheel. We were able to spoon it on because of using unique techniques. We also made sure that we put the face side down so that any possible marks would be on the back side of this wheel.